So I decided to purchase the XP Pen Shortcut Remote since my current uh, graphic tablet that I'm using does not have a shortcut key. So it's very difficult for me to do my drawing while using the keyboard. So with this, it has made my work much more easier. So when I open the box, inside you can see the manual and there's not much you can find in the box. I was expecting some freebie but I think for its price, it's very much affordable compared to the Wacom Shortcut Remote which is very much expensive around I think 100, 100 bucks while this one is around uh, 20 at least in my country's currency and you can download the um, software and the driver onto their website just follow the instruction on their manual for the link and the remote actually feels light and I really would be careful in dropping it and as you can see there's the you can see the keypads and then the transmitter on the back the remote uses the triple A battery for it to work you push the tiny button at the back to turn it on you can only assign limited functions since we only have nine buttons so choose wisely after installing the shortcut remote software we can now start configuring the buttons according to our preferred workflow. So for instance, let's assume that this other icon refers to the desktop. So we can assign what kind of um, function we want for our button. For instance, in K1, we can choose to run a program. So we can select which ones that we'd like to add so if we press 1 k1 the after effects uh, software will then open and then we can also start assigning uh, various functions like in function keys you can assign a shortcut for instance the control Z which is the undo so you press the control and then you press the letter Z button and that will activate the shortcut and then for the dial we can assign the keyboard keyboard function so we assume that control plus and control minus is the zoom in, zoom out when using the browser. Okay, let's go to the Clip Studio Paint. So for the Clip Studio Paint, we assign a different type of uh, function for our keys. So we have the scroll, which means we can use this dial to scroll on our workspace. Okay, we can also start assigning here. For example, I used uh, Control Z for K1, Control S for K2 and control 3 for each button which means the grab uh, sometimes the shortcut keys we use for clip studio is different from the the ones at photoshop so we go to the plus plus icon if we want to add a new program 
so we can select from here which program that you'd like so for instance we're going to look for Adobe Audition there and if we don't want that uh, shortcut we can press the minus button to remove it and that's it you click OK and you can start using the remote I'm using the dial button to scroll up and down on a browser and so far it's working great okay let's see the remote in action so far it's doing well I'm currently at clip studio paint software and I'm using the dial to manipulate the size of the brushes and it's so convenient for me this way before I had to stop what I'm doing so I can change the size of the brush and now it's just so easy just to switch and I can also move the canvas like that rotate also you can also rotate so I really did not regret with my purchase because it has made my work so much faster and there's very little lag time for me and I can do the work continuously and I highly recommend that if you have a graphic drawing tablet without a shortcut keys it's definitely a must to have this shortcut remote as your companion for your drawing and yeah well that's it for now and i'll see you next time please don't forget to subscribe to my channel since it helps with the algorithm and also don't forget to bookmark my website miskacomic.com